Okay, just want to get your reaction on this phone. Hey guys, so we're going back to the very early and the very dark days of Android with the Sony, uh, not the Sony Xperia, the Sony Ericsson Xperia X10. So 10 years ago, this was one of the best Androids. So the box quality is definitely a bit cheap. Uh, I would say the worst for any phone I own. Now this phone has some pretty funny specs. It has one gigabyte of internal storage, the Snapdragon S1. It doesn't even have a selfie camera. But what it does have guys is a headphone jack and a battery you can remove. Okay, so definitely pretty cheap feeling for the material. Yeah, companies have really improved with this with the unboxing. Yeah, and you see here guys, I mean this stuff is kind of just like thrown in here. So, let's see here. We got some headphones, which is pretty nice. We got a battery. A micro USB, not USB-C of course, but a micro USB cable. A wall adapter, assuming it's not quick charge. And wow, look at this. <laughs> a mini disc, I guess probably for Windows. And also manual. All right guys, so let's take a look at the phone. Okay, so, I mean, this feels, I, I know guys, I mean, it's 10 years old, I'm not knocking it for being old, but rather, you know, it's more so like how far have recent phones come since then, and this is really, really cheap feeling. Yeah, I mean, this is like, feels really rubbery, and... Again, guys, it feels like a really low quality phone. Now, yeah, it's been 10 years, so let me try, try turning it on. Oh, you know what, guys? Actually, you need to use this. Yeah, you know, it's been like three years since we've had a flagship with one of these. Uh, in part because of waterproofing, but still, I mean, I think most companies are just trying to get away from them. Oh, wow, we actually do have some juice here. Sony Ericsson. Alright, so I'm actually going to turn off the light here. There's not even a setup process for it. Wow. Now, yeah guys, I mean this is Android 1.6 Donut. You have to upgrade it to Android Gingerbread 2.33. But, yeah, I mean this is obviously very waggy now let me see here. I want to see if we can get like a wow look at that yeah I want to see if we can get like a YouTube app running 
The date there is December 31st, 2009. So I'm gonna put in my Wi-Fi info and I'll be back in a few. Wow, so several hours later, I mean, this is very different from what I expected. Even like locking your phone looks like a, <laughs> it's like a TV animation from the 70s. So I'm gonna go over to specs first, and then after that, I'll go over to software. Now the screen is 4.0 inches, and it's not HD. It's only 245 PPI. So compare that to the recent Sony with a 4K display. On the front, again, no selfie. And on the back, you have one camera at 8MP. So it's only capable of recording up to 720p. So again, guys, I mean, compare that to recent cameras, you have either two or three or four cameras on the back. And with those, you can record in 4K 60fps. Now the phone has a Snapdragon S1, which is the first Snapdragon, 384 MB for RAM, which again guys, a lot of recent phones you have like 12 GB RAM on it, 1 GB of storage versus a lot of phones now with a terabyte of storage. You do have micro SD card support, but only up to 32 GB for micro SD. The battery is 1500, which I guess for this size, it's decent enough. Now the phone does not have an IP rating, but Sony eventually was the first to have that. Uh, I think about two years later. So we also have physical keys right here. Uh, three at the bottom. At the top you have micro USB. And believe it or not a headphone jack. And once again guys, a removable battery. Okay, just want to get your reaction on this phone. This is Sony Ericsson. I had a Sony Ericsson when I was in college. Um, it's a different style, different design with a keyboard. Um, definitely not a smartphone. This one's more advanced than what I had. Um, it's nice. I still like how it feels in my hand. And it's a quick test for the camera. And zoom. There's actually no on screen controls for it, just the buttons. And the stabilization. So yeah, this is recorded at 720p. Now getting back to the software. So of course it is awful. So this is upgraded to Android 2.33, uh, the most recent version. But I mean, it's so weird guys. There's, there's no Play Store. There's no YouTube, there's no Chrome. We have Sony's internet browser, but it won't even connect. So again, there's no Play Store. There's just nothing resembling Android. The camera app, of course, is very bad. You do have a camera button, but yeah, guys, I mean, honestly, if you gave me this like a few hours ago before I, uh, a few hours ago before I used it, I would not have known it was Android. All right, so all that said, in the early days I had the iPhone, so it wasn't until the Galaxy S3 that I got my first Android. And yeah, I mean, for that you had the Play Store, you had YouTube, you had Chrome. So it was pretty different. 
So yeah, the early days of Android before the S3, the S2, uh, they were definitely pretty rough. Now, I do want to do a deeper dive on this in the future, so expect more from it. Now, before you guys go, um, if you are a fan of this type of video, uh, this type of retro tech, then definitely check out this in the top right. So it's a bit different. It's the original Donkey Kong. Uh, but we do have some very, very old Donkey Kong handhelds from 1981. So again, if you want to support this type of video, then definitely check it out. Alright guys, so thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.